was a nice article in the Globe this week about Oliver's new composition. Did he tell you about it? <laughs> Did I hear about it? <laughs> it's all I've heard about this last week. All it does is just go on and on about it. So how are your pieces coming? We're coming along. I don't know. I just don't really like them. All I do is just go over the same sections over and over. Isn't that the way it's always been? I'm just tired, I guess. Maybe you just need to be re-inspired. How about you go see a performance? Maybe. I'm just ready to be done with college. Ready to move on. You're almost there. And I'll be doing it for a living. Well, it's not too late to change majors. <laughs> it's better to do it now while you're still in college than to wait a few years. Change majors? Man, I've been here forever. I don't even know what else I'd do. So how's your mom? She's fine. Did she ask about me? What do you want? This is for you. I got one too. Thankfully, mine aren't getting any bigger. Yeah. Aren't you worried someone's gonna see this and ask you to play it? Shut up. I'm serious. I've never heard you play this. I mean, I'd much rather play this than do whatever it is you're doing. I'm working on the theory assignment. You're still on that? It takes you so long with those. Whatever. I'm gonna go work on my chops. And if you ever want to be a real musician, you would as well. Good. Why'd you stop? Oh, hey, Dr. Swanson. I was, I was just taking a moment to reflect on the mood of the piece. Ah. Uh, like most Beethoven, this piece comes from a very emotional place. It's important that you find that emotion and use it to dictate your phrasing. I know what you mean. I'm just trying to find the right balance. Great. You know, you really have to show competency to be released into the real world. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be ready. Good. Well, keep up the good work. I can't wait to hear your jury. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Focus. How is my little Mozart doing? <laughs> Pretty good, Aunt Kathy. Thank you. Good. I'm going to go check the gravy, but when I get back, I want to hear all about school. Sure thing. Hey, cuz, how's college life been? It's okay. I'm definitely ready to graduate. What's your major? Hmm. I'm a music major. Fun! Going to college just to play music would be so cool. It's okay. 
Yeah, that's why I always tell him he's adopted. He's the only one in the family with any real musical talent. You should play at our wedding. Yeah, I don't know. That's a great idea. I haven't even heard you play before. Yeah, sure. Why not? Wonderful. Having you in the wedding will be great. It's a little warm in here. I'm going to go get something to drink. I heard the big news. It's not like I have much choice in the matter. You always have a choice. I really would like to play for them. It's... It just means more time in the practice room. Do you know, I remember when you were little, you used to sneak off at night to the basement with that, that little keyboard and you'd play and play until you fell asleep. <laughs> it was different then. It was fun to practice because I was learning to play for my friends. So maybe it's time to move on. Not forever. Just keep music as a hobby. But I'm so close, though. Maybe if I can just get through this tree, it'll be fun again when I'm picking the music. You know I'll support you in whatever you do. You can do anything you set your mind to. Thanks. Excellent job, as always, Oliver. I'm very proud of you. Thanks, Dr. Swanson. It was easy when I had a teacher as great as you. <laughs> we'll be ready for you in a minute, Calvin. <sighs> Sorry you have to follow me, man. I think I saw Dr. Galland tear up in the middle of the Brahms. <laughs> Actually, Oliver, I think I've got you beat this time. My jury's gonna have him talking for weeks. All right, go get him. Buster. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Darkness in 
inside